Hi, I'm Kate Johansson with Fast Pup Dog Training, and today we're working with Coda. We're working on the idea of discerning between marks and blinds. And we teach the dogs a whole language about marks and blinds. Dogs can understand words, but they understand cadence, timing, body language, voice inflection, and things like that even better. And so what we're doing today is we're, we're telling him that he's going to go on a mark, which is really exciting because there's movement involved, there's a gunfire, and any dog is going to be excited about going to a mark. Then, after he's gone out on that really exciting mark, we're going to bring him back, and now we're going to ask him to go past that mark and go get a dead bird, which isn't nearly as exciting. So. Because he's a young dog, we're doing everything we can to be, help him be successful. And so we're going to walk him out on the blind before we do the mark so that he knows that it's there. We're going to give him about an hour um, to kind of, from the time that he actually gets walked out on the blind until he actually goes past the mark. We're going to have him sit on the truck for about an hour. But we're still going to set him up for success. So the language that we're using for marks is similar to what we're using for blinds. It is mostly about cadence and timing though. So when we tell the dog he's going to go on a mark, we say mark it. Mark it right there. Mark it easy. Mark it way out, whichever it is. And then we send him on his name. So mark it way out. And then Ruby. I'm not saying his name because then he would probably take off. So mark it way out mark it, that's it, Ruby. And then when we send him on the blind, we're going to tell him dead bird, way out, dead bird, way out there, and then we're going to send them, when they, when they put their ears forward and they tell us that that's where they think they're going, we're going to say that's it, and then back, dead bird, that's it, and then B-A-C-K. I don't want him to go right now. So let's go ahead and get started. You stay. So I'm just getting ready to plant some blinds, some bumpers for Coda. We're putting orange bumpers out here past the mark. You stay. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead. Dead bird. Dead bird. So first the mark. I've gone ahead and turned the winger facing the other direction and Coda and I are going to walk out and we're going to plant another blind just a little bit past the gun station and then I'm going to bring him back, I'm going to run him on the mark and then ask him to run the blind. You stay.
And so every day we come out and we just do a little bit. We put, we put the pieces of the puzzle together. Here, here, Coda. Gonna give him a happy bumper now. Sit, sit, good dog. Coda. And of course, the reason we spend so much time on the difference between marks and blinds and teaching handlers how to communicate the difference and teaching the dogs to understand what we're talking about is marks are always an easy thing. You don't really have to train a dog all that much to be able to go get marks that they saw, shot, and, and fall. Um, where the going gets tough and the tough get going is when there's a bird that was shot that the dog didn't see. Maybe you shot it, maybe somebody in your party or somebody that's not even in your party shot a bird, it's down, and for con conservation's sake, we need to send a dog to go get that bird so that it's not just wasted. And so that's what the blind retrieves are all about.